Are you available for a quickie, Sam? Uh, sure. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. You're good. Thank you. Sam, thank you so much. I wanted to get your take on the presidential contenders on the Democratic side, because we know who the Republican is. Uh, were you surprised by the CNN poll that showed Joe Biden as the leading contender? Uh, there's no poll the, about the 2020 contenders that could surprise me right now because we are so far out from that. I don't think people are really tuning in to anything. Well, can I just throw a couple of names at you and just get a brief reaction from you about what you think of some of these contenders? Sure. Don't worry. Look, I'm, I'm like that, too. I haven't really given it that much thought, but go ahead. All right. Don't worry. We won't rate you if it doesn't turn out to be a gem. All right. All right. Joe Biden. I mean, personally, uh, I'm not thrilled about his politics to a certain extent, and I would like to see, I mean, frankly, I'd like to see a younger generation of Democratic leaders. What do you think about, you know, with the Me Too generation, all those still photos and videos of him appearing to grope little girls? Don't you think that would be sort of an issue? I am not aware of those. You aren't? No. All right, then. They're all over the place. Really? Yeah. Because I feel like I'm all over the place, <laughs> and I have not seen them. All right. Well, you can check it out now that I've planted that thought in your head. Okay, great. All right. Um, let me ask you about Michael Avenatti. What do you think about You think he's a viable candidate? No. No. Um, and then also, I'd love to get your take on the possible effect that Candace Owens and Kanye West are having to lure blacks, or shall we say African Americans, over to the Republican side. How do you assess that situation? Um, I would just look at the polling and um, I could see that there's no effect. I would say probably the vast majority of Americans, like beyond almost something that we calculate, doesn't know who Candace Owens is. In fact, I'm not sure that I do. And uh, in terms of Kanye, I don't think that the, that a one singer is really going to influence anybody one way or another on anything. Okay. And then possibly the most important question. I mean, let me wait. Do, do you, like, the idea that anybody that like the notion of like even a singer advocating for Democrats would have that type of influence is, is silly, right? I mean, well, the, what my thought was that it, and is Kanye really a political leader that dictates to people like what they should think? No, he's not. But I think that his influence is less than or is more than zero, and it doesn't seem to me like it takes that much I to mean, make a difference. I think that people who obsess about the influence of people like Taylor Swift or Kanye, I right. think are, don't understand politics and don't have respect for voters, frankly. All right, All right. well, I plead guilty to that. But let me, uh, ask, let me ask you a more important question. Yes. Are you intentionally growing a beard or did you just not shave? You know, I only shave when I go on television. And so um, I'm not trying to grow a beard. I just, I don't like to shave. Well, when I do, I use Harry's, and you can get that at Majority Report. Uh, use the coupon code MAJORITY at harrys.com. So. Right. Am I an investigative reporter or what for getting to the bottom of that? I talk about that every day on my show, so you should do a little bit more listening. You can listen to my show at MajorityReportRadio.com, too. So. Okay, Sam. Good talking to you. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. it. Okay. Thanks.